finally the package has arrived i did get some shortened spindles jzx arms for the is and we're gonna go ahead and try to crack these out in about i'm hoping an hour <laughs> I hope I don't take too long. I was doing homework and I finished early. I was like, oh shit, I'm done. I have time. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these puppies. I'm assuming it shouldn't be too hard. I'm hoping it shouldn't be too hard, but these are nice, freshly powder coated, bought them off Osak Takas. Osak Takas, is that how you say it? I think it's Osak Takas. His page, he lives in Russia, gets parts from Japan, ships them. They do have poly bushings. I did opt for that option. You can get OEM if you want. And it does come with brand new ball joints so uh, let's get the car in here cleaned up a little bit the area at least to get cracking on that puppy nothing new on this i think i'm gonna try to adjust camber because this one has a little bit of more camber so it doesn't rub but this side has positive camber and you can see that it does rub i'm gonna try to uh pull camber in a little bit on this side and then we're gonna go ahead and you know, change the suspension in the front, so let's pull this shit in. Don't mind the ugly fender, but we we're on jack stands. About to grab my tools at the trunk of the car. I do have it chalked. Let's uh, open the trunk here. Tired Gonzo. Leave these on the side so we know where they're at. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wheel to the right so that I can access the bolts a little easier here. Get the caliper off. It's a little concerning. It was a little, not loose, like I had to force it and then after I forced it, it just pretty loose. There's the other. We got the two bolts here for the caliper. Brake pads are still pretty good, so that's good news. Just gonna go ahead and place that on the jack, leave it on the side. So, carnage. So, I don't know if I explained this in one of my videos, but the tie rod seems to bind over here, therefore, towards the boot. Pretty much any time you go full lock, so that kind of sucks. But it shouldn't, yeah, it doesn't have any place, so we're still good for the time being. Now let's go ahead and next thing will be, I mean, I'm gonna take the rotor off, obviously, but I guess would be start loosening the control arm. And after that, it'll be the two bolts down here, which are 19s, I believe, and she's out. Load it off. Move this bad boy. On a rag over here. There's one out. Um, I do recommend you get rated 10 hardware for your suspension. I do have some people I've seen that use grade 8 and their shit snapped, so you gotta be careful. Another. We'll throw some Loctite on these before they go back into the ice. But technically, it's free now. All right, so the control arm is loose. Once you take off those two 14 mils, like as you can see, the ball joint was fucked. But that's the old one. So now I can remove the two 17 mils that are finger tight right here, and everything will come right out. So let me set up the camera so you guys can watch this happen. After some finagling, uh, bolts are in, not fully tight because I'm about to throw the spindle on. So let's throw this puppy on. Want to make sure that these line up there. And then uh, let me put the phone down real quick. I'm going to grab these bolts 
finger tighten them on. Finger tightened on. This just requires this nut here. And uh, let me straighten out the wheels so that we get nice straight suspension geometry so I could tighten down every bolt. Put the caliper back on, rotor on. Put this puppy on. Line up the holes. Angle, baby. My theory was right in the past. I've told the uh, people why I haven't changed my fender. It's because I felt as if I put my controller or my new uh, spindles in my arms, it's going to give me a little more camera, but it's also going to put my track, my white track, a little in. It's not going to be as far out. And that will determine if I wanted to buy over fenders or if I wanted to buy uh, like wide fenders or stock fenders. And right now it looks like it's pretty deep. So we'll see in a, in a second. So I just finished tightening up everything else, torqued everything down. So we have officially new spindles, new upper arms, and then whatever I changed in the previous videos. All right, so wheels are on. We're gonna bring it down, torque it to spec. And we'll be all set. So you see how it's so sunken in? It's those uh, those spindles and the arms working together, changing the whole geometry. So good thing I never purchased any over fenders or wide fenders, cause I'm gonna need some stock fenders to get that buttery fitment. All right, let's see. Looks like my toe, my toe is in. Or my wheel is just not straight. Definitely a whole lot more camber. My car sits way lower now. The front lip's on the ground. It's insane. So I'm running out of time to uh, keep making adjustments, but the rear end does need to still come down. And obviously I still need fenders, but I'm gonna go for a quick dress drive and see how the front end feels. Not bad. That shit looks super aggressive in the front. actually softer than the back I don't, I don't, and in the front nah I don't know it feels good though for the time being it'll have to do because I need to go my fiance is waiting for me this is it after suspension settled a little bit it does look lower completely, but I think I still need to go over the back. Yeah, the back needs to go down more. So, yeah. New fenders will make it look a thousand times better, for sure, because these are pulled, as you know. If you guys didn't know how to do that or wanted to do that, I know what it's like. It does change the geometry of the suspension. I'll actually and it actually makes it stiffer with the uh, polyurethane bushing. So yeah, um, other than that, we're pretty much, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. JZX Arms, drop spindles, KFD angle kit. This is the result you will get. Um, 
that's about it. I have OEM control arms in the lower end and uh, G, you know, GS300 obviously tie rods. And yeah, this is the aggressiveness you get. I just need to make adjustments, but that'll be in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.